and welcome to Chapping Up, your channel for personal style development. In today's video I want to show some items that are quintessentially for me when I'm traveling and which you might consider the next time when you're away from home. Firstly, we want to talk with what you could travel with. Let me show you. If you are away just for a short period of time, you might consider going with a stylish leather valise. This one is made of quality leather, the lining is beautiful, the metal bits here are beautiful and it also smells very nice. When you are opening this leather release of other people say we can do to it, you just have this smell and it looks stylish and it just makes the journey way more luxurious and special. What could go into the valise? Let me give a rough idea. As chaps we know that our outfit is made from the ground up. This means that our shoes have to maintain a high standard at all times. However, we know that our shoes are in constant contact with the ground. Therefore, we should take some products with us that take care of our shoes. One shoe care product you might consider is this one. It's the Medaille d'Or from Saphir. This wax creates very quickly a very nice mirror shine on your shoes. And the mirror shine is the difference between a chap and the ordinary guy on the streets. If the shoes get scuffed, it's then to use some shoe cream. If something happens to your shoes, it could be on an escalator, could be a curb, could be just some dirt, whatever. This is a quick fix for you. Before you go on a journey though, make sure that you don't take too much with you. So what I would do is, is to nourish the shoes beforehand. And in this case, I just take this Renovateur from, also from Saphir. And this just does a very good job. And then you can apply the shoe cream. And I want to add something. Don't forget to take a fresh cloth with you to apply the shoe cream. Another thing you might consider are shoelaces. I travel with a spare of extra shoelaces because I know when they rip, they rip exactly in the morning before you go to a business meeting or to a venue and then you're stuffed. This really doesn't take up any space and if you buy a new pair of shoes, what I do is I buy also extra pair of laces. Now we got your shoes covered in terms of scuffs, we want to make sure that your shoes last even longer. Therefore, please consider to travel with a travel shoe horn. They are very inexpensive. This one here is made from metal. You can have them from nice horn material or from plastic. It doesn't matter. It's just important that they are very thin and that you have them with you. And now imagine. It's in the morning, you're in a hotel room, you had a proper wet shave, but then it happened. You cut yourself. A pity. But no problem. Help is at hand to get rid of this so that you don't ruin your color. In one of my previous videos, I introduced the viewer to this shaving crystal. It not only gets rid of irritation, which happens after shaving, it also helps to stop the bleeding. So I would highly recommend to take with you one of these. And if this is too big for you, no problem. You can just break off a little bit. And this thing lasts you for months and months to go. So there's no reason not to take this with you. Another thing which is important is to protect your skin. Many men don't do this, especially after a shave. Hence why just take a good moisturizing cream with you to calm down the irritation and give back the moisture to your skin it needs. So always take a moisturizer with you. It also helps you to keep your skin fresh over the day uh, without white bits or skin coming off. And now you had your shave, you're looking good, you're feeling great, but there's still something that can be improved. It's your smell. 
Well, I'm sure you were thinking about taking all the toilets, perfumes or other things with you that make you smell nice. But there are some clever tips how you can achieve this even better. For, this is my perfume, for instance. It's called Floris 89. It's an eau de toilette, which is quite nice. However, the longevity is not that great. And it takes up quite some space for a week time. This is way too much. So, help is at hand again. I take a little sprayer bottle here. They can be even smaller. Just fill it in there, just a little bit, and then you are covered for the entire journey. And the plus side of this is as well that you can take it with you. So, but take an even smaller one. And then you can spray it on you throughout the day. So you always smell very nice and very fresh. There's even more you could take with you. Me personally, I love to take with me my personal dressing gown. Not just does it look very nice and elegant, it also gives me the feeling of coziness and being at home, although I'm not. It's better than the scratchy ones you get from the hotel and also in the wellness area it helps you to dis distinguish this one from the others and you just look more chap. Protect your jackets and suits. There are two ways how you can do it. One way is you take with you your personal coat hanger. Only have enough space and you can be bothered. I do because I like to take care of my expensive garments. What is important about these coat hangers is that they are equipped with wide shoulders and these wide shoulders help the structure of your garment to stay in a nice shape so if you can you can put them inside your coat and travel with them and if you even go more extreme like I am what I take with me if I can't take an iron with me I take a steamer with me S a steamer is way better than hanging your shirts into the shower uh, to get them steamed there. This is rubbish. So I travel with this just to make sure that there are no creases I can't get rid of. So of course this only works if you really have lots of room to spare. I do it usually when I'm on a car journey. When I'm out and about and I'm wearing my sport jackets or suits, I want to make sure that the silhouette is maintained. This can be achieved if you don't stuff too much stuff inside your inner pockets. Therefore, I like to use this very slim and clever wallet. This one is from the company called Sacred. I got this in this greenish elegant color and this does the job just perfectly and it's not too bulky. So if you're traveling and you don't need your big wallet, just consider taking one of these with you. And let's say you are a cigar aficionado like I am. I would recommend, like in my last video, to take a travel humidor with you. Not only is it a very safe option to take your cigars with you and store them properly, using your own cigars is also cheaper than going into cigar lounges if you don't want to. But regarding travel, I want to take this a little bit differently. What you should consider next to the travel humidor is take an extra cigar for a person you might encounter. Cigars are so much nicer if they are shared with fellows. In order to come across like a proper proper chap, you might consider to hone your gestures. One gesture would be the gesture of giving. Could be for instance giving presents. Presents for the taller ones or maybe bring something to the smaller friends you might see. It's just so nice to show other people that you care about them. And this might be one way of showing it. Give something personal. This would be the best. And now something that almost shouts chap. What is more chap than a proper solid stick umbrella? An umbrella and a proper hat are symbols of being a gentleman and being chap, next to manners. 
I will present this item to you in a short while. It is actually the reason why I started this channel, because I wanted to show you this symbol of being a gentleman. But it's not any umbrella, you will see it's going to be something truly special and I can't wait to show it to you very soon. If there are other items you can travel with, don't hesitate to share it with me in the comments below. And if you think that you could take away something useful from this video, consider to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. Now, last but not least, I wish you safe journeys and I hope to see you next time. Thank you and bye bye.